This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got my co-host Robbie Hall back with me. How you doing, Rob? Hello, Kathy. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Do you remember what you were doing three years ago today? Yes. What were you doing? My surgery. You had your surgery, brain surgery. Robbie had brain surgery, and my goodness, you were home. It was within days. It was amazing what that what they did. You had some In surgery. Three days. Three days. Yeah. Yep. That was that. I can't believe it was three years ago. I can't believe it was three years ago. But Robbie had some brain surgery to help with his seizures. And how are you doing now, Robbie, with it? Really good. You're doing awesome. You always are. You always are. I'm going to throw the show over to you. You have a special guest with you today. The show's yours, Rob. My... My guest today is Jan Collins. She is the executive director of the Ontario Panamity System Association. Thank you, Jan, for joining us today. Happy Valentine's Day. Can, can you tell us what the Ontario Panavity System Association is? Sure. Well, before I jump in, I just want to thank you for the wonderful introduction and happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Uh, so the Ontario Prader Willi Syndrome Association, or what we often say OPWSA, is a nonprofit charity that was founded in 1982 by parents who wanted to support other families. Uh, living with PWS. Uh, OPWSA is primarily supported by a community of donors and sponsors, and with the help of myself, the executive director, and an amazing network of family-to-family -family support and partnerships across Ontario, our goal is to create rich, meaningful lives for individuals with PWS. Um, we currently have about 250 members within our community, uh, and that includes families, individuals with PWS, their caregivers, um, and supporters. And uh, we serve families throughout the entire life cycle from you know, initial diagnosis at birth, uh, early interventions, school, transitions to adulthood, uh, residential options, and aging. And we do this through a variety of different ways, um, such as crisis counseling, uh, training to educators, reg residential staff, and anyone working with individuals with PWS on how best to support individuals with PWS. We help spread awareness about it. We organize events for individuals with PWS and their caregivers from family gatherings to conferences to some fun activities as well and uh, we help facilitate connections between families and to resources in their community. We also rent a camp uh, for individuals with PWS uh, ages 16 and up. And uh, Robbie, I know you've attended that before and it's a great time at Shadow Lake Center. Um, we provide free fridge locks to our Ontario members. Um, and we also have a first trike program where we alone adaptive trikes and other adaptive equipment uh, to individuals with PWS across Ontario. So we do a bunch of different things, um, but yeah, thanks for having me. How long have, have you been the executive director? I started working with the association in March of 2015 as a family support coordinator. And then um, in 2016, I transitioned into the role of executive director. So it's been, gosh, now about uh, almost eight years, seven years, eight years. There is a only 1K a day challenge in February. What is that? Um, about so the goal of the 1k a day challenge is to encourage individuals with pws and their families friends supporters to participate in physical activity every day throughout february and those that complete the challenge by participating every day during the month will receive a certificate and a small prize 
what kind of activities are people doing to participate? So walking is a big one. Uh, I know I walk every day. I walk with my dog. Uh, um, so I know a lot of folks either walk outside or on a treadmill or walking around an indoor track on those really cold days. Um, I've seen some folks do other types of activities such as bowling. I know you've done that a couple of times, Robbie. Uh, tobogganing, skating. We've had some uh, folks, we had a big snow dump uh, a couple of weeks ago. Some were shoveling. Uh, we've had some individuals participating, uh, doing exercise videos and um, some other, you know, video game activities like Wii Bowling and things like that. So it's really, you know, we encourage at least one kilometer of walking every day or participating in 30 minutes of physical activity in whichever way that you would like to do that. Who can Pimpson Pant and the one k Bay Challenge? Uh, anyone can participate in the challenge, whether you're an individual with PWS or a family member or a friend or a supporter. Um, for example, I know both you, Robbie, and uh, Kathy have participated in our 1K Day challenges. And um, all you have to do is follow along on OPWSA's Facebook or Instagram, uh, and you share your progress by either commenting on one of our posts or sending a direct message to me or emailing me to let me know that you're participating and following along with us. How many years has this challenge been going, going on? So we started our 1K a day challenge in August of 2020 as a way to continue to encourage our members to be physically active during the pandemic. Uh, and we've been hosting the challenge every February and August since then. So this is our fifth time running the 1K a day challenge. Why is... Staying active so important for people with kind of really syndrome. That's a great question. So individuals with PWS experience something called hyperphagia, which is really just a fancy way of saying that they have a constant feeling of hunger or that they never feel full. So and on top of that, individuals with PWS also have low muscle tone and a slower metabolism. So it's easy for an individual with PWS to gain weight, and it's also more difficult for an individual with PWS to lose weight. So uh, participating in physical activity every day is a really important way for an individual with PWS, and one of the ways um, that an individual with PWS can help to maintain a healthy body weight. May a panel many syndrome awareness month what events we we were we look forward to so uh throughout the month of may opwsa runs uh, a campaign to help spread pws awareness uh, we do so by each day we share a fact about pws there's a lot of different elements to pws and sometimes families can find it difficult to um, describe the many facets of pws so these are small easy to digest uh, facts about PWS. And we share them on our Facebook and Instagram pages. And we encourage members within our community to share those posts within their own networks and communities to help spread PWS awareness. On top of that, each day, we also have the PWS uh, Everyday Challenge, where we encourage individuals with PWS and their supporters to take part in an activity. Some of the activities are physical activities like walking um, two kilometers. Uh, some of them are uh, mental health activities or self-care activities. And we also have other challenges like the puzzle challenge, which we do every week because individuals with PWS love puzzles and are amazingly great at doing puzzles. So uh, we do that. Uh, we have a weekly challenge for that. And then this year, we're also going to have some exciting uh, fundraising activities going on throughout the month. How do people learn more about the 
Ontario Palo Mini Syndrome Association. Well, you can find out more about PWS as well as OPWSA by visiting our website at www.opwsa.com. Uh, or you can check us out on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Right now, you'll see a lot of posts related to the 1K a day challenge. Um, but if you reach out to OPWSA, we're a small organization, you're going to be reaching out and getting in contact with me. So if you ever have any questions about PWS or would like to get involved in some way, please feel free to visit our website to find out our contact information and reach out to me. And thank you so much, Robbie, for having me. Thank you, Jen, for talking with us today. I hope you will be back in May to talk to us about Panorini Syndrome Awareness Month. Most definitely. Thank you so much for having me today, Robbie. And thank you, Kathy, as well. <laughs>